Hi Quick Kinders! In today's math lesson we're going to review a lot of skills and you can show me how smart you are by telling me how teen numbers are broken down into a group of ten and some ones. You can compare two groups of numbers and tell me if one group is greater than, equal to, or less than another group as well as use the proper symbols to represent greater than, equal to, and less than. You will show me that you can fluently add to five, which means you can do it super fast, that the answer just pops in your head just like that, as well as add some greater numbers all the way up to equaling 10. So let's get started first with some teen numbers. So as we said, we know that this one in a teen number represents one group of 10. So what's missing in this ice cream cone? 14 equals what? 10 and four, very good. 10 plus four equals 14, super. How about this one? They're new, they're stuck together. Sorry about that. Okay, what's missing? Very good, 10 plus one equals 11. Super dee duper. Ten plus eight equals eighteen. Awesome. How about this one? Yes, sir. -y. Three goes in there because ten plus three equals thirteen. Super. It's one of those tricky ones. We say it should be three teen, but it's thirteen, right? Super, six goes in there, 10 plus six equals 16. Two, good, 10 plus two equals two teen. No, that's not what this number is, right? 12, I was teasing you. 10 plus two equals 12. We just say it should be two teen if they wanted to make it easy for us. We're so smart, we don't need the easy way, do we? Five, good. Ten plus five equals fifteen. And the last one. Seven. Ten plus seven equals seventeen. I hope you knew to shout those answers out because I didn't tell you, but I think you're used to our lessons now distance learning over YouTube, so you knew to scream out the answer, I'm sure, because you're so smart. Okay, awesome. Easy warm-up. Next is greater than, less than, and equal to. All right, so I don't want you to worry about these right now. Well, we have seen this symbol, right? We've talked about this one a lot, right? What's that one? Go ahead, tell me. Good, it's the equal symbol, right? We saw it over and over again on these cards, right? Right there, equal, right? So, when, if we were to compare two groups of numbers and they were equal, we would use this sign, right? We would say this number is equal to this number, but do these look equal? No, they do not look equal. Point to the one that you think has more. Very good. You're right. This one has 10 and this one has 7. And 10 is greater than 7, right? Because when we read math sentences, we read left to right, right? Top to bottom, left to right, just like we read words, right? So we would start with this because it's on the left-hand side and we would say 10 is greater than seven. 10 is greater than seven, right? But see, these symbols down here, this one and this one, just like the equal, this sign, 
means equal to, right? This one equal to, it's the same thing. These symbols also mean something. And if you think of them, you think of this one, and you can make it with your hand too. Think of this really hungry alligator. And he's so hungry, and he's always wanting to eat the most, right? So he's going to gobble the one that's the most. So his mouth is always open to the greater number, right? And if the first group, the one on the left, remember we read top to bottom, left to right. If the one on the left is greater, you can see him opening up his mouth, yum, 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 yum to eat, right? And so we read this sentence as 10 is greater than seven. 10 is greater than seven. Very good, right? However, we don't always get lucky and have the first group of the two that we're comparing be the greater one or the one on the left. Remember, we read top to bottom, left to right, even a math sentence, right? So sometimes, like in this one, you have the greater number on the right hand side, right? But it's still the same thing, that hungry alligator, right, is going to open up his or her mouth to the greater number, right, because he's ready to gobble, 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 right? So, he's still, in this case, she's opening her mouth, ready to gobble up those birds, right? But, Remember, we have to read our sentence top to bottom, left to right, right? Well, we're, I'm pretending that it goes here just so you can see both groups, right? It's not really up here. So we would say one is less than three, right? See how her mouth is open up to gobble the three? So the mouth always opens up to the bit, to the greater number because it wants to gobble as much as it can, right? But when we read top to bottom, left to right, when it goes this way, it's less than, right? So we say one is less than three. This less than, we can use this symbol to mean less than. So if it's pointed this way, pointed towards a second number in our number sentence, then this is less than. But if the alligator's pointing to the first number in our number sentence, like in this one, right, then we say this symbol takes the place of greater than, right? And I don't expect you to remember that all. Some of you, that may be review. Some, that may be a new concept. But what I want you to do for our little exercise is to make your hand and open up to the greater number. So when I flash a card, you're going to open your mouth either this way or this way, depending. Get ready. Get you, Let your hand be that alligator and you know, gobble up the greater number. All right. Okay, we did this one. So... Oh, we forgot one more. What about this one? Yeah. What does he do? Does he want to gobble this one? Or does she want to gobble this one? <gasps> well, let's see. There's four here and four here. So we know this symbol already, right? Equal to, right? They're equal to each other. All right. So let's see. Get your hand ready. Oh, so we should say gobble, right? Gobble, open up to the greater number. If it's pointing to the second number, it's less than. If it's pointing to the first number, it's greater than, right? And of course, do this if it's equal to. All right, you ready? Okay. Very good. You should be pointing to this one because four is less than nine. Very good. What about this one? Ooh. 
Do it. Open your hand. Did you see this one? Again, yep, because eight is less than 10. This one again, eight is less than 10. Super. Open your hand. Good. Did you gobble up this one? Gobble, gobble. Because nine is greater than one. Much greater. All right. What about this one? Oh, awesome. I hope it's opening this way. Three is less than seven. This one. Ooh, get ready. Mouth opens to the greater number. Jump, 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 jump. He's so hungry. Five is greater than two. This one. You're doing so super. All right, which one? <laughs> I'm so hungry, I love donuts, right? This one, four is less than six. We're almost done. Ooh, lollipops. This is a tricky one. Open to the bigger one. What'd you get? I couldn't trick you. Good job. It is equal. Even though there's these are spaced out, there's eight is equal to eight. Very good. You're so smart. What about the kites? Which one? Oh, I couldn't trick you again. There's two rows of three and three rows of two, and they both make six. So six is equal to six. This one. Two equals in a row. Is this another equal? Oh, he wants to eat some basketballs, or she does. Which one? Open your mouth to the greater number. Yes, very good. Remember, we read top to bottom, left to right. So six is less than eight. Yay, you did such a good job. Go ahead and celebrate and give me five jumping jacks. And then five star jumps. Right when your legs and your arms go like that, pause the video and then come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Did you get your sillies out? Okay. Um, we are going to... Oh my goodness, Mrs. Gibbs did it again. She forgot her flashcards. I just got to reach them right over here. Hold on. Oh boy. Here they are. I usually have everything right in front of me and I forgot. Sorry about that. I could have had you do your jumps while I was getting those. Okay, ready? Remember, when we know our facts through five, we know them just like that. They pop in our head. And if you don't know them just like that, that just means you need to practice a little bit more. So I'm going to give you a second or two, and then I'm going to tell you the answer. So if this was tricky, you can go back and do them again. Remember, plus zeros, easy. Plus ones, easy, right? Let's see how fast you can go. Two. Two, five, four, one, five, five, four, four, three, three, four, three, five, zero. Five! You did that so super fast. I'm so proud of you. Let's mix them up. And we'll do them one more time. Let's see if we can go even faster. Okay, ready? And if not, it's okay. Just listen for my answer and say it right after me, okay? 
Ready? Four, four, three, two, five, zero, five, five, five. That's a lot of fives. Four, two, five, four, one, three, three. And the reason we want to know them just like that by the time we go to first grade is so your brain doesn't have to waste time figuring out the easy ones. It can concentrate on the harder ones. We're going to practice some of those right now. So that's why we practice those and we got to know them just like that, right? So we don't have to waste, our brain doesn't have to waste time trying to figure out the, the ones we should already know. All right, okay. So sometimes... When we have bigger numbers, a good strategy is counting on. And I know my class, and maybe some of your classes too, learn the dots, right? Um, so if you had, we'll start with an, e, um, an easy one that we already know. So we could go 3 plus 2, and if you weren't sure and you didn't know, just know the answer, then you can count the dot. You could pretend there was dots on the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 3 plus 2 is 5. Even faster, you could think of a greater number, which we've already practiced today. You know three is greater than two. So think three, and then we count on four or five, right? So before we do that, let's practice counting on from numbers. So I'm going to give you a number, and you say the next four numbers, right? Quickly, okay, so like seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, good. Four, five, six, seven. Good. How about three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. That's what I mean by counting on. We just think of the next number and we keep counting. And we're going to use that skill to practice some. So pretend we have our plus sign here, right? For example, if we're going to practice five plus four or four plus five. Either way, it's the, it's the same thing, right? So you can, if you had to, count all the dots and you'd get your answer. But to make it go faster, you can think, think of the greater number. So five is the greater number. Think of that in your head and then we're going to count on from five. So we're going to say five and then every time we say a number, we're going to count Every time we touch a dot, we're going to count up one. So we think five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four plus five equals nine. Good. How about four plus three? What's the greater number? Four. Good. So we think four in our head. Think four. And count on from four. Four, five, six, seven. Good. Four plus three equals seven. Awesome. And some of you, maybe just like through fives, you know them just like that and they pop in your head. Well, and you don't have to count them up, count on, you can just shout them out. But if you're not sure, then definitely use a counting on strategy. Okay, how about this one? Ooh. 3 plus 3. Oh, what's the greater number? They're equal, right? It's the same. So it doesn't matter which one. Think of this 3 and count on. 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Awesome. How about 3 plus 5? Good. Five's a greater number. So we think five, six, seven, eight. Three plus five equals eight. Super de duper. How about five plus five? Again, it's the same, right? They're equal. So we'll think the first one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five plus five equals ten. And I know some of you know your doubles just like that. You didn't even have to figure that out. Awesome. Ooh, here's another double. Four plus four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. 
4 plus 4 equals 8. What about 2 plus 4? Four is the greater number, so think four, five, six. Two plus four equals six. Very good. I am so proud of you. And if you're wanting more math, you can go ahead and make some math problems on a piece of paper or go outside and do it with chalk and write on your sidewalk and have mom or dad check. And you can even put little dots. You can think of the greater number and put dots on the other one to figure it out. Or practice your easy ones. Your one plus threes and see how fast you can write them. Whatever. But I am so proud of you because you showed me how smart you are. We accomplished everything we had to in this lesson. You showed me about our teen numbers, right? And we did are greater than, less than, equal to. Remember, when the mouth opens to the first number on the left, we say it is greater than. And of course, we know this one is equal to. And finally, this one is less than when it's open to, when that mouth opens to the second number, right? because we read top to bottom, left to right. When it's open to the second number, like this one, we say one is less than three. So we did that. Maybe some of that was a little new for you. We practiced adding so quickly with these, and then we practiced dots and counting on. Remember what was this one? Five plus four? Hi, you're so smart. All right, so great job, everybody. Um, let's do the Oreo cheer, right? So we open our Oreo, and we go, mmm, yummy. You are super deliciously smart. Whoosh! All right, boys and girls, see you next time. Bye-bye.